in this morning's sermon, we're talking about how to reestablish relationships that have gone wrong so that other people on the outside looking in don't abuse your rights. You see, when you abuse your own rights in a relationship, you make mistakes. And the first order of business, as any parent of any decency will tell you practically, is you must apologize in person. Then you must be willing to break bread together to talk about what really happened from all sides of the perspective. And you come together maybe in a luncheon room, a meeting room, at a bank you can borrow, and you have that brunch together. You sit down in a hotel room in a suite area and you talk over food and maybe some wine just to loosen things a little bit a wine spritzer or just something that's a little bit more sophisticated than a coke and a smile you see at this time of the holidays we have all kinds of sparkling apple ciders and other things but just plain old apple cider is different and it doesn't hurt anybody's digestive tract or give them reflux so that they have an attack but what you're trying to do is establish intimacy of relationship again that probably once was and what you can talk about together is what happened how you felt and ask each other to listen really well but in that period of time then you acquiesce and go I can see that from that perspective I can understand how you felt and I can agree with you on that matter and then we look at what's the common ground now and then you talk about what's happened since then how has life been has life been all a bowl of cherries as they talk about not even what that means or has life been difficult because God is still saying you failed me in those moments you didn't listen to my advice you did your own thing you danced around you pranced around you expected someone to run after you who's had his knee ripped out smart how wise the Lord above sees everything both you and me and everyone but people in America want to say they like God but they don't want the rebuke from their Heavenly Father their loving mother in the sky. We have a FaceTime situation where you can sometimes talk on Skype or other type of teleconferencing tools, but that only works if the technology is available to both sides. You see, a real conversation is done in person and it's easy to do. I just spent, I don't know, maybe a good 30 minutes, probably 40 minutes, schooling a boy who was trying to play with me. And he probably had more questions. And I always say at the end of what I consider a reasonable conversation, a reasonable amount of maturity and receptiveness to a young person, if you need something, if you need help with this, please come back and see me. I will keep my promise in helping you. But if you fuck me over in anything that's illegal, anything that's not your business, I will retaliate with wrath of God. 